Hello again, I'm Dave and welcome back to the recently redecorated Fatfish Guitar Studio. I uh, don't know what you think about the new look, if you think the, the black background looks better on a video or not, uh, let me know in the, the comment section down there. Uh, today a quick lesson about playing the minor pentatonic scale. If you've played guitar for any length of time, if you've looked at scales, I'm pretty sure you'll have come across the minor pentatonic scale and it's very close relative to the minor blues scale. Usually when people get into learning scales, uh, minor pentatonic, it's kind of the first one uh, that you, you come to learn. It's the one that sounds like this. Or, like I say, it's got a very close relative to the minor blues scale. That's the minor pentatonic. There's also a major pentatonic scale as well. Um, but what, what I want to look at today predominantly is the minor pentatonic because it's probably the one that you use the most. I heard somebody the other day talking about how important it is to learn all five pentatonic scales. Now there are five ways of playing the minor pentatonic scale or indeed the major pentatonic um, but there aren't five separate scales. There's only one scale, it's just five different ways of playing it on the, uh, on the fingerboard. Because one of the things you've got on the guitar, and I've talked about this in, uh, in tutorial videos before, is the fact that the same note can appear in more than one place on the, on the guitar neck. So whilst you've got a, a top E string here, we just play open, there's also an E at the 5th fret on the 2nd string, and at the 9th fret on the 3rd string, and at the 14th fret on the 4th string, and, and so on. There's loads of different ways of playing the same note. So there's not just one way of playing the notes of a scale. And this is different to something like a keyboard instrument where one note always occurs in exactly the same place. On the, on the guitar, the, the notes are arranged, can be arranged in, uh, in different patterns for you actually playing the same notes. So let's look at different ways of playing the minor pentatonic scale. I'm going to use Fat Fish to, to help us here. So let's start off dialing in an A minor pentatonic, which is probably the the most common uh, example of the minor pentatonic is we'll, we'll work with A. So the root note of A minor pentatonic is at the 5th fret on the E string. And we can play the, the minor pentatonic. This is the shape you're probably most familiar with because it starts on the root note. And it's the one that looks like this. Now what I want to do here is to find other ways of playing those notes and playing them at different positions on the neck. So what we're going to do is take the highest note on each string. This is quite a nice shape because there's only two notes on each string. What we're going to do is take the higher note on each string and use that as the lower note for the next shape going up. So if we start off from the A root note here, we'll go up to a C. We're going to actually use that as the lowest note in our in our next shape. So we need to think about what notes there are in the A minor pentatonic. So if we look at Fat Fish, these are the notes that we've got. And what we want to do is find the notes that occur around here on the fifth fret and find where they lie a little bit further up the neck. So starting off here from the C at the eighth fret, the next note we want would be a D. Normally, say from the first shape, we'd be playing the D at the fifth fret on the A string. But if we're starting here with the, the C at the eighth fret on the bottom E string, we can go up to a D at the tenth fret on the bottom E string. Next note we want is an E. We'll take the E from the, the shape that we played originally. The next note in the A minor pen, pentatonic then is G. And there's a G at the tenth fret on the A string. Then we'll go up to an A, so we can use the A from the 7th fret on the, the D string. Next note, got to go up to a C, well there's a C here at the 10th the fret on the D string. Uh, next note that we want to go to is the D at the 7th fret on the G string, that's not a problem. Uh, next note up is an E, well, we've got one of those at the 9th fret on the G string. Then we've got to go to a, a G, so we've got one of those at the at the eighth fret on the B string. I'm going to go to an A now. We've got an A at the tenth fret on the B string. C at the 
8th fret on the top E string and find it will finish on the D at the 10th fret. So that gives us a shape that looks like this. So that's another scale shape, but it's the same scale. It's still the A minor pentatonic, it's just it's a different, uh, a different way of arranging the notes. What we're going to do now is take that shape and look at the, sorry, the highest note in the shape. So we're starting off this time with the D at the 10th fret on the E string, and we'll look to find ways of playing the notes of the A minor pentatonic but using the lower notes around here, around the, the ninth or the 10th fret. And it gives us a shape that looks like this. Again, it's still the A minor pentatonic scale. It's just the notes arranged in a different order. Moving up again, let's start from the E at the 12th fret on the, uh, on the e, bottom E string arrange the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale, get a shape that look, looks like this. And lastly we're going to move up to the, the next note which is the G on the 15th fret on the bottom E string. Use that as a starting point and arrange the notes of the A minor pentatonic so we start from around here and we'll get a shape that looks like this. And that basically brings us back to where we started because the next note up is the A at the 17th fret on the bottom E string. So it's the equivalent of, it's an octave up from playing down here. So there's five different shapes for the A minor pentatonic scale. You've got this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So why is it so important to know more than one way of playing the same scale? Well really it's just to give you the flexibility to be able to move your fingers around anywhere on the fingerboard and have notes from the scale that you want to play kind of under your fingers and to know where they are. You know, if you've learned to play A minor pentatonic and you've only ever learned this one shape, then you can play down here if you want to play something in a higher register, the only other option that you've got is to move the whole thing up by 12 semitones and play the corresponding shape up here. But there's this whole area in between where you can't move smoothly from that position down there to this position up here because really you don't know the notes around this middle area. If you want to play anything lower than the A minor pentatonic notes around here. This is kind of, from the fifth thread down over, is kind of uncharted territory for you. If you know lots of different shapes, then you know the shape that's kind of around here, you know the shape that's 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 around here. And if you know, to be honest, if you know the shape that's based around, so like the, the G at the 15th fret, then you also know the shape for the G based at the third fret. So you know all the you can fill in the gap between between here and here. And what this also gives you is the flexibility to be able to move up and down the neck fairly smoothly, fairly seamlessly. If you start in one shape and you want to kind of move up the neck, then what you're doing really is transitioning from one shape to another to another as you move up. And it gives you the flexibility that if you want to play uh, a particular note, you don't have to always play it at the same fret at the same string every time. The same note occurs at lots of places on the fingerboard and it occurs in lots of uh, different shapes. So if you know the shapes it gives you the flexibility for where you know wherever you are on the neck you'll find a way of playing that uh, playing that given note. So that's the minor pentatonic we've looked at there. Don't forget as well as the minor pentatonic um, there's the minor blue scale which is the same same scale basically is the minor pentatonic, but it's got an added flat five. So while, whereas we've got these five shapes for the minor pentatonic, if we add in the flat fifth degree, we've got five shapes for the minor blue scale as well. And you can do the same thing with uh, with the major pentatonic. Um, to be honest, you can do the same thing with any scale. You can look at the notes in it, then use the higher note on one string as like the lower note of the next shape, and then find 
find ways of playing the same shape up and down the neck. Use the minor pentatonic as an example here because it's probably the scale that you play the most often, but if you're into scales, so this is something you can do with, uh, with any of the scale shapes, use Fat Fish to help you. Dial in the scale that you want, find the, so like the, the position that you're familiar with, generally it's the one where you start and where the, uh, the root notes on the bottom of your string is the lowest note in the shape. You know, look at what the highest note in the shape uh, is you know, on, on, on each string and use that as the lower note on the string for the next shape. So, okay, so don't get locked into just playing one scale shape. Be aware that there's more than one way of playing it and uh, get familiar with those so you can use them equally comfortably in your playing. That's all for now. Thanks very much for watching. As always, if you like the video, please click like, subscribe, comment or whatever down there as the fancy takes you. And if you've got a question for a future video, then if you go here, there's a form where you can uh, send your question in. I'll try and get around to addressing it in a future video. As always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.